morning and welcome to our trip to the annual caravan camping and motorhome show at the NEC. We're going to have a look what we've got on offer and see some what we're going to see. Yeah, we're going in there, what we're going to see? Caravans, caravan, motorhome. We're going to see. Yeah, we're going to go see some caravans, camper vans, motorhomes and tents. So come with us inside as we're going to see what's on offer. Camper Van XL with four seat belts. Sleeps for adults. Let's have a look. Oh, this looks comfy. Oh, that's where the other bed is. The other bed's above my head. To drop down. I like the fact we'll add just this side. <laughs> Shall we have a look? Is this the... no. Oops, sorry, yeah. Okay, we've got the toilet. Okay, yeah. Yeah, this is the shower. Decent sized fridge and freezer. Yeah, it says you can. Put the kids a go on there. It's got like a toaster oven. Mm -hmm. This is nice. Mm -hmm. 84,000 on the road. You like the cab? I like, like having that there. I know you're sacrificing the storage that's normally there, but it's quite nice having the uh, the front window. So I've got the city camp, 71, 820 on the road. <coughs> Trying to duck while I'm in. So we've got the drop down in the pop top. And the beds converge. Sink and your single burner. Got the table in the back. I think that one would end up being too small. That's okay if you're just going away and you need something to sleep. So I've got the Supreme CV80. Bed in the pop top. It's got a rear lounge. The front diner. You got the toilet in the car. It's a decent size inside. Front of the microwave. Decent size fridge fridge freezer. Well, it fit out its waffles in. Yeah. So I've got the Supreme 150. Mm 
That's on the Persian manual. Ooh, this is quite big inside. Because I've taken all the dividing walls out, it's quite big. Stand yeah, standard Dometic. Got the oven, three burner, and the sink. And you got your shower and the toilet. This is actually quite spacious inside. A little bit more on the spec. So we've got the Adama 75.4i, which has got a double in the front. It's on a Ford Automatic, this one. And then it's got three gas, one electric. I'm sure I can hit a fly in here. And your oven. And you got your island bed. That's it in your day setting at the minute. And you got your toilet. Yes, sure. separate shower. Quite a lot of storage space at the front. We got the USB. No, it's not got the USB lights at the front. There's your Truma heating panel. No. And your Bailey control panel. And you got the 754 DL. Because it's got double lounge. This will it's got a decent garage and in there it's got drop down bed front and back. Yeah. 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 Just the back shuts off as well. Oh, that converts as well by the look of it. So that's got the pull out to uh, add that bed. So this should hold six. Combined toilet and shower. And then you've got the front with the drop down bed. You've got the sporting front from 28 and a half. Let's go and have a look inside. This is quite a good one inside from what I remember. So it's got the garage underneath. Which way down? So you got three gas burning. I don't. Decent storage. Toilet and shower. We can pull out that. And your trimmer blown heating. And we've got the Carry One 390QD from 20,780. So as we come in, yeah, we've got the pull out bed at the front. That's a dinette. Got the toilet and shower with a window in it. <laughs> now it's like a, a white window in it. And you got the bed in the background. That's your cupboard. I think it's starting to feel the effects of the show. There's a fridge. Decent sized freezer. And then, yeah, like your, your little toaster oven. Then you got your three gas burner. 
and sink. Which one do you like the most, the blue one or the other one? The blue one. Stop off at the Caravan and Camping Club, free coffee. So we've got the fuse. Drop-down bed up there, flare bed there, got two gas burners. I think that's going to be too small. Too small for other swaffles. Look at that, it's a nice little van. Yeah, I think this one's a bit out of our price range, but we'll have a look, because it looks nice. Decent sized fridge freezer. Really comfy travel seats. Pop top. Have a look. Got a really nice bathroom, there's a toilet and shower. Quite a high bed, built rudder. And access to the garage. It's really nice inside. There's no oven, but there's plenty of storage space. Oh, and my way. Manage to put our travel open in there. Come on. Here are the go pods. These are small but cute. Pods. Got a decent lounge that makes it into a bed. Okay. We've got Solaris XL. This is the one with the bunk beds at the back. <laughs> and, the, and the toilet and the shower at the back. Put in your table stand, and you got your oven with the three gas burner. Would that be your bed? Microwave. Yeah. Decent sized fridge freezer. Loads of storage. I do like this one. Let's see. You need to shut it and then. Daddy, it's got a toilet. Yeah, it's got a toilet on it. Got storage underneath. Oh, that's nice and comfortable. Yeah, careful. I'm not quite anticipating that. Oh, it's too hot. You've still got the storage at the back of the Solaris XL as well. Tiny little garage there. I know we're looking at upgrade into a camper van or caravan, but let's have a look at some tents while we're here. A decent sized living area. And then the four bedroom. I think we're just a bit spoiled because our tent is so big now and it's got so much living area. So you've got the Antara 4 Air 650XL, the Air Beam tent. This one's a bit like ours. Door on the side. Massive spacious living area. 
Oh no, this one's bigger than ours. It's got like a side living area. All the bedrooms in the back. And you got 450XL, which is slightly smaller, but that's still got studio small attachment. Let's have a look in here. And if you're taking a, a portable toilet with you, because then it's away from the bedrooms. I've got the Coleman Weathermaster with a large tent with a large area. One thing we like is having the double living area because then um, you put your camping chairs in the first bit, you have your table and stuff in this bit. And you've got all your living quarters, it looks like that's all blackout. And then the little area that you can have as your toilet or another living area. And if you're not using it, you can unclip it and take it out. So you'll get all this as living area. So we've got the camper, which is inflatable. Front living area. And you've got the indoor area. This isn't blackout in here. bedroom at the back. This one's the same, if you don't want to use it, you just unclip it and take it out. So you've got the Pennine Path Rover folding camper. So you've got your oven and grill. Four gas burner. Decent sized sink. Got your back bedroom. Yeah, this pulls out and converts into a bed as well. And then you've got your bedroom at the back. This is a, a pop up. So you've got your sink and your toilet. And a tiny Dometic fridge, but with a decent sized freezer. So you've got the Fiesta folding camper, which has got, I'm guessing that converts that, yeah, that drops down. So you've got your double bed that size, yeah, double bed that size, seat there. You've only got the, uh, the small grill in there. Decent sized Dometic again. This is that's going to, yeah, full gas burner. And then you've got your toilet there. Just in case anyone's interested in Adria, the virtual showroom. The Adria Altair, six berth. Three bunk beds. Ooh, I like this layout. Yeah, there's no way to put it on. So we've got the toilet, sink, and the shower area. There we go. Oven grill, bit of microwave, and 
decent sized fridge freezer. And then the front bedroom. So that. So that lounge will convert into your front beds. And it's got a panoramic roof window. Some more storage. And the curtain to shut that bedroom off. And the bunk bed shut off as well. So the X650, 76,000. And the rear carriage. X550, 74,000, similar layout to the last one. With a drop down bed, and that converts. The fridge is on this side, this way. You coming to have a look, Al? No. Slightly different layout at the back. So you got your shower and toilet Ah, oh, your sink comes down now ah. and then your shower area is hidden behind that it's got a fake yeah, cab, automatic that drops down it makes okay. another bed and that drops down. Yeah, so we've got the chassis on 640. It's four berths. We've got a massive shower and bathroom. Because apparently you said that the bed comes to you. So you still going to be able to get. So you still need a ladder to get into the bed. Right. Right. I'm still in there, I'm coming. Thank you. Then the drop down bed. That's on automatic. So you can there's a travel seat, mm -hmm. and I'm guessing, yeah, there's one here. Cool. And there's the control panel. Well, this one's got a decent sized garage as well. I'm guessing that's the access from the um, shower room. If you have a look at that, it's not bad price. So, ooh, I, I like that idea. Having the ladders actually held up there, out the way. So you got the rear lounge. Space for the Avtex. Two gas burner up. Your mini coaster oven, fridge freezer, fairly decent sized freezer. You got your toilet and shower. What's that? I'm saying I, I like the idea of that having your ladders actually stored out the way up there. Mm. And that shuts off. Oh, 
And then your space for your table there. Yeah, I'm guessing the table's in there. Yeah, table's in there. So the Expedition 6-8. Freezer. Pop top similar to before. It hasn't got the rail to hold the ladder up on this one. Expedition C-71. Can I say, some of the finance agreements for Auto Trail have been quite good. Up you go. Here we go. So you got your nice dining area at the front with the uh, belts. And the island bed at the back. It's in uh, day mode at the minute. There's your toilet and your separate chair area. I'm guessing it's comfy. Three gas burner hob and your little toaster type oven. Let's have a seat in there. Oh, you do sink a lot. <laughs> You'll keep going. It's like a seat full of air. And there's your second bed at the front with your ladder to get on it. This is quite comfy as well, so you you could be in a passenger in this one. Right, this one's a lot higher off the ground and you'd need uh, the mini step ladders. So this one's 60,000. Yeah, it is quite roomy. So you've got the bed there. Travel seats there. Top bed there. Yeah. Double travel seats there, so that will go up. I'm guessing your table goes there as well. Well, don't know, you wouldn't put your table there. You'd put your table there. Have a look at the fridge and the freezer. You get your waffles. And you've got a toilet there. And then the shower area there. You're going to step down into the shower. You step up into the toilet, down into the shower. And then your cooking area right at the back. We'll guess burn a hot. And then you mini toaster oven. They got two singles, comes a double. Huge space up there. That is there. Just driven. 
big ass burner. And then we've got the toilet there, sink, and the shower. And in the back is where the table clips. That was the Endeavour B64, and I'd say that's made it onto one of my top three. I'm impressed with that one. Hit cap. The bed at the back, table. Toilet and shower there. Toilet roll holders uh, showing in the show. Look at the 2024 Voyager Extra 584. So I got three gas, one electric, toaster oven. And then you go through the bathroom. Sorry, eh? Bathroom toilet. You have to go through the bathroom to get to the back. Oh, jeepers. Very high. You got your wardrobes. There's a headrest in there. Oh, that's cool. Drawers. To the storage step. What? Yeah, Daddy's got to put his head through there to get onto the bed. It's nice, but the only downside is there's not much space up here. Uh -huh. I, yeah, I, but this I, would be the kids. Yeah, I can't sit up properly. Yeah, but look at the drop. Mm. So we've got the Encore 255. Separate fridge freezer. It was open. You got your toilet and shower area. Are you coming to have a look? Yeah, because that's not too high. You got your microwave, I think I've said three gas burner, one electric. Your oven, your cooking area and sink. And then you've got what would become the front bedroom. Question is travel seats. Yeah, it's for birth. Yeah, travel seats in there. I think. And a mirror just as you're walking. So then we've got the Super Brick Suite and the Fiat. The steps here are a lot friendlier. And then you got the bed above the cab. Yes. Show models on the Fiat manual. Then you've got your eating area with your travel seats. And you got the bathroom with a little window in. 
and the toilet and quite a nice shower. And we've got a separate fridge freezer, set food, three gas burner, with your little toaster type oven, that's warm. Oh, the LED strip lights, I've just put my arm on, it's warm. And then you've got your back, back bed here. Hell, oh, don't mess. Don't mess. And then you've got your cupboard there. That you could put a little table. microwave. I know, it's quite a big rear lounge. Oh, oh, this is nice. Yeah. Oh, you don't even have to press anything. Oh, it just moves. Unless the lockers are on. Cool. These are comfy. So you got your super brick. The same set? No, slightly different. Two single at the back, one double at the front. <laughs> Twin beds at the back, yeah. I'd say this. This seems more. Two, three gas burner. It's more spacious, but I don't think there's a oven. Yes, there is. Need to open my eyes. The oven's behind. I like. I wouldn't be able to get anything out of it. Properly. No, it was leaning backwards, <laughs> sideways. So we got the toilet there. It's <laughs> So you got the toilet there. Yeah. And then a decent size shower. It's got black glass. Yep. No, you can see in the shower. So you wait for people when you're having a shower. No, yeah, you you'd have to shut the door. Yeah, you'd have to shut the uh, bedroom off. And you can see your hand when look. Yeah, you don't get that close to it. But you'd have to make sure no one was in the, the back bed room because there's no shut off up here. Well, Elliot can get on the bed, no problem. Question is, can Elliot get down off the bed? No problem. No. Come on then. Come on then. I'll help you down. One. I think I think the other one had there's your front bed I think the other one had better technology well technology better facilities in it than what this one's got this one seems as you said although it looks more spacious everything's smaller to make it more spacious So this is five birth. Let's have a look. So got travel seat there, your two travel seats there. It's about a drop down bed above my head. Huh? That's a drop down bed there. I'm guessing that one makes up the bed. That's a drop down bed there. And then this one makes up a bed. You got the oven there, and then this should be the fridge with the freezer. Got the drawer in as well. That's a white cooler kind of thing. Three gas burner. I think it's a toilet and shower. Looks like it should be quite big. It goes back, yeah, separated. So you got the toilet there. You got your sink there, but there will be a hook somewhere. No, the show. Oh, the shower's up there. I like that. Oh, it's rainfall. Yeah. The tap does form a shower as well, but it's got a rainfall on it. So this is a remote Super Brig 95. It's got a huge garage in it. Oh, 
quite spacious for me. Chairman, twin beds look nice. And the five travel seats. Freezer, little toaster oven. You got your drop down bed. So you got the Kilig 9, 62, uh, 63, 62995. So it's got bunk beds. Oh, I like this one. So you got bunk beds at the back. And you've got your toilet area and your shower. It's got the high oven again. And Freezer, and you've got the one that side, and that side. There's your travel seat, and your two travel seats there, and then you've got your above cab bed there. That's on the Ford. Decent gas locker on it as well. So you've got the 2024 Chatsworth 150 by Coachman. So you got the seat this side. There would be a seat that side, but the travel seats up. Fairly, but you got the island bed. Three gas, one electric burner with the microwave. Got your separate oven and grill. You got normal Dometic. You got your island bed at the back with your wardrobes. Just ready to shut off. And you've got your shower and toilet. When you make this bed up, you're going to lose lose a chunk of it because of the step there. It is for birth, but then you've got the option of like the six birth. So as you go in the six birth, you've got your dinette area, which will make a bed. The front bit that holds down. Persia. Just come with a drop down bed. And you've got your three gas, one electric burner, and your oven and grill. Sink area. 
Dometic fridge and freezer. And we've got the bathroom area, sink and shelf. And then the toilet there. Then you've got your space at the back, seating area, which will also form your other bed. The seats are a lot more comfortable in this one than the fourth berth. All seem more comfortable. But I quite like having the two seating areas, and it is six berth. And you've got your, your screen there to shut off the back area. Plenty of storage space above the cap. So six berths. I like the auto roller. So you got top bunk there. Then you've got your dinette and your rear lounge. Thanks for turning the lights on now. And we've got the shower and sink area and the toilet. Oh. He's going to sit in the front. He's going to Ford cab. It looks quite spacious. It is, there? it's very spacious. Mine in your bed. Mm-hmm. Oh. Then you got Then you got the TV area there. <laughs> and you got the table in the back with a decent sized garage. What's that? garage it pretty much just falls under the bunk bed when the bunk bed's down. Steps up there. Yeah the bunk bed still lock in so you got a decent garage but what's the bathroom like? We'll have a look in a second. Got the toaster oven. Seat. No messing up. Shower. Decent sized fridge, it's got the drawer, it's got the drawer, wardrobe, so the drop down, would that be a fairly decent sized bed, <laughs> six, because you got, you got the two bunks, you'll have that, and then you've got the drop down. One there, one there. Somebody's driving inside. And right. a manual. Ford. Look, there's the other. Oh, yeah. That's what I didn't see. There's one there. One there, one there. And one there. And then the two there. Yeah, I was going to say, the picture there. And you put your TV there. It's fairly decent space as well with the, uh, with the table. You've got the partial uh, table wouldn't size. Be. It would, but you wouldn't bring it all the way down. Yeah. The one thing you would have to remember is to retract your TV. Mm. That looks very close to the edge of the drop down. Stop messing. And that'd be the garage that you got left with the bunk bed down. But there is a strap to hold the bunk bed up. And that was this year's Caravan Camping and Motorhome Show, where we got to see a couple of our old favourites, and there was a couple of new ones that made it to the list as well. And quite like the Rimor ones, and very reasonable for price as well. 
If you enjoyed this video, remember to like, subscribe and share, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye! Bye.